Yeah, today is Tuesday, June 6th, I think. Some of my Amazon stuff came in. I sweat a lot. I always have my entire life. And when I'm using my cutting goggles with my uh, oxygen acetylene cutting rig, I usually fog up the cutting goggles because I'm sweating so much. Plus, I can't wear my glasses. So, solution. Bought an Omni Shield by Lincoln Electric. That's what it looks like. It's got a Shade 5 lens on it, which is what I used to cut with. Pricey, but it's going to solve that problem and stop burning up the mustache too from sparking. And the boys up the hill are doing something again. Don't know. Anyway, looking at the weather forecast. next week towards the end of the week it's going to be 96 to 98 a little early for that but i think the summer solstice is this weekend i think so summer's officially here and it's going to be hot it is going to be hot except in my building i got my ac going been here about 35 40 minutes it's uh, 3 30 in the afternoon ac brought it down to 83 degrees already dropping the humidity down it's been storming bad every single night so getting a lot of rain and i noticed when i get back home i gotta pick tomatoes the cherry tomatoes i got a few sweet peppers too let me turn this fan off with my little ac going if i got this floor fan here circulating the air it helps distribute the cool air throughout the building. I was reviewing my video last night and my valve cover was kind of corroded down here on the bottom. So four bolts popped it off real quick and uh, painted it with that high temp silver. And also and I seized the bolts before I put them back in. This tire keeps losing air pressure I gotta pull it off and try to find a leak. But I got my little cotter key in the axle now, so that's a piece of cake. Found a pin for my hitch bar and my hitch bar and bag. I got a shipping confirmation. It's supposed to be here uh, Friday. And I had that pin sitting in a toolbox. I gotta get the. Uh, there's a key that goes in here I got to get that I got a whole box of them up at the farm I'll grab one bring it down so down buy another one literally I got a whole box of them I might be able to show you what I'm talking about I might have one on the tractor and that'd be a no it's it's not this style it's uh crap I always got one on here it is like this but bigger here you can see it better there I got a whole box full in a kit I don't know what those things are called clip pin I really don't know what they're called properly uh, we got a tractor supply here along you but I'll be going up to the farm probably tomorrow and I hate to buy stuff I already got uh, picked up a needle gun called a descaling gun or a needle gun harbor freight used to they're like $39 those days are long gone this summer gun was $109 which I thought was stupid but I'm old I keep remembering old prices the key to these things is always use air tool oil liberally and if you do that they'll keep pounding if you don't they'll crap out on you pretty much every time it actually says on the paperwork if you don't use the air tool oil it boards a warranty uh, let's see what else that's about it sharpening my parking knife use this whetstone here for machine tools and it's also good for a pocket knife whetstone cutlery 
there's the numbers on the side of it. It's a 1,000 and a 400. The lighter color green is a 1,000. Darker green is a 400. And I also have this really coarse one here. That feels to be about a 400. The other side is about even rougher, and it's also got a chip in it. But yeah. So just kind of piddling. I just stopped and talked to one of my neighbors today. They just painted their house. They've got a sure enough late 1800s Victorian. And it used to be in Marshall, Texas, and she told me the story of how it, how and why it got moved to Longview, Texas. It's a gorgeous house. Uh, high maintenance. If you find a Victorian and think, well, I want to move into that. Uh, this house is about 4,000 square foot, two story. Uh, the paint job is close to $30,000. So be forewarned. Those houses are extremely high maintenance. But it's absolutely pretty house. And uh, real nice neighbor. Uh, she's recovering from cancer and out mowing her yard. And uh, it's pretty hot here today, about 88. But that 96, 98 next week, boys up the hill, they're going to melt. And, uh, but it's what it is. Now I dealt with it for 20 years. I get used to it too. Actually, a little more than 20 years. So that's how my day's going. I have to go get uh, two fence boards to fix my fence. I couldn't remember if they were eight foot or ten foot. I couldn't tell by looking in, so I had to measure. They're eight foot on my privacy fence there at the house, and uh, I'll swing by Home Depot or Lowe's this evening and grab two of them. And I'll grab my screw gun and some screws here instead of nailing it. I'll just screw it. It's faster. So, just kind of piddling. Enjoying retirement. I'm going to go look at that uh, tire keeps going flat on my chipper. I'm try to figure out if it's tube type or tubeless. That's all for this one. Thank you.